folks, welcome back to another haul video. This week I've been to Poundland and managed to find a few bits and pieces. So I grabbed a couple of bits that I'll show you and I've filmed some things in the shop as well that I didn't buy. Um, so we'll run through those as well and let you take a look. So the first thing I picked up was this water bottle. It's an aluminium one. Um, I have got a bigger one that I take out quite a lot, especially if I've got the dog with me, because obviously she needs a drink as well. But if I'm going out for just a walk and I want enough water for a drink, this is the ideal size really. It's a 500ml bottle. Like I say, it's aluminium, so it's really lightweight. It's got a rubber seal around the top to stop it leaking as well. I'll quickly shove it on the scale so I can take a look. So that's 68 grams, so not a lot at all really. Um, I know a lot of people take plastic bottles or other things, but I don't know why, I just quite like the metal one. I don't need to tell you how much that was either, because I'm, I'm sure you can guess. The next thing I got was this set of four carabiner clips. So these are just handy to have. I have got a few that I got free with other kind of water bottles and things that I bought in the past. But these are handy just, as I say, to stick on your rucksack or help keep things together in your bag. And they'll just clip onto anything and let you attach it, obviously. I mean, you all know how these work. Um, but yeah, a pound for a set of four. I just thought it was worth grabbing a, a pack of those. And then the other thing that I bought in the shop was a little first aid kit. Now, as I've said before, I don't recommend that you just go out and buy a first aid kit, throw it in your bag and assume that you're gonna be okay no matter what happens. But I'm doing a follow-up video in a week or two about first aid kits and how I put mine together. Um, and this will be used as part of that. So for your money and for your pounds, you get obviously the nice bright case for everything to go in. And it's got in here a gauze dressing a non-adherent pad, eight large plasters, eight medium plasters, 10 small plasters, an instruction leaflet, alcohol prep pads, an elastic gauze bandage, some safety pins and some tape. So it's not a bad kit and for a pound, you know, just for the bag, it's worth it, I think. There's a couple of belt loops on the back as well. But like I say, I'll go into detail on that when I do my first aid kit video coming up. And I've got a couple of these as well, so I use one as my main first aid kit if I'm going out on a camp and I've got one with a few less items in it that I just throw in my day bag when I'm out on walks. So that's all I bought in the store but other things they had in there were um, bungee cords so again not necessarily something you need but something that's handy to have sometimes in your your bag of tricks and spares for tents and things like that. They've got a little washing line that I'm probably going to pick one up if I go in again to be fair. Um, that you can put up inside your tent for obviously drying your clothes and other bits and pieces. There was a cutlery set that all slotted together for a pound and it's very similar to the one that I bought at Sports Direct for £2.50. So that's a good buy if you're looking for something like that and you need something like that or even just as a backup or a, a spare. There was a little pocket knife as well with I think five different attachments on it. So there's a corkscrew, a bottle opener and a screwdriver on it. I probably wouldn't recommend buying one of those. I think you're better off spending seven or eight pounds on an Oppenel number six or something like that that's gonna have a decent blade on it and last you a long time. Um, but for a pound, it might be worth grabbing one of those as a backup or if you wanted um, the other things on there, so the bottle opener and, and bits and pieces like that. So by all means, obviously take a look. They've got a metal mug um, and metal bowls as well. So again, at, pretty much a staple really of kit. The mug was really good for a pound. They've got a small folding mug, um, which was okay, but it only held 170 mil. Um, there's obviously bigger ones out there and it didn't feel that thick. The silicon that it was made from felt really thin and didn't, didn't fill me with confidence if I'm honest. And they've got an inflatable pillow as well. So it was 41 by 22 centimeters. Um, I didn't buy one because I've got my Trichology pillow and I've got a one pound fifty pillow from Tesco that I'm going to try out as well. 
I didn't see the point in buying another one, but if it's something that you're looking at, maybe as a second pillow or a secondary pillow to raise your main one up or just to try out for a pound, they've got those in as well. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth having a look at Poundland. Like I say, not only the camping stuff, but they're really good for your kind of snacks and cereal bars and drinks and stuff like that as well. And um, they have a lot of instant coffees and hot chocolates and all that kind of stuff. And a couple of these bits I think are really good value for money, especially the first aid kit and the, the water bottle as well. For a pound, you really can't go wrong. So I hope you found that useful. Give us a thumbs up if you did or a thumbs down if you didn't. Check out my other haul videos on the channel. And I've got plenty more wild camping gear reviews and haul videos coming up as well. So consider hitting that subscribe button, give the bell a ding and you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.